You mentioned bows and their hubris. Uh, they, well, amongst the audio files, there is a phrase that that is tossed around all the time. No highs, no lows, must be bows. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bows came out maybe, I don't know, let's say somewhere between, you know, somewhere in the last decade, but probably closer to a decade than, you know, than certainly not in recent years. They came out with their smart speaker line, and I can't remember the name of it. Uh, you know, and so yeah. I, I was big, you know, and still am very bullish on on the idea of getting smart speakers or Wi-Fi enabled speakers. I guess smart speaker has taken on a new term that that implies now that it has a uh, voice assistant in it. Back then, none of the speakers that we called smart speakers had voice assistants. They were just Wi-Fi enabled. You could control them with your phones. The thing, Sonos was, you know, sort of the yeah. the first player in that market. And I got really into Sonos because of that. It really made a huge difference, you know, in, in my ability to consume music out loud, consume digital music, especially out loud. It, you know, it had kind of been stuck in all of our headphones for so long and yeah, then that's great. Sonos came out and it was like look we, we we've been doing this for a while you should pay attention and finally I did and it was like oh it's amazing and so our listeners to you know the Mac Geek Cab loved it and uh, we were bullish on it but it wasn't I mean I like what Sonos has done I think they've done a fantastic job with it but it wasn't so much that I was you know all in on just Sonos I was in on the concept and they were really the only game in town initially to do this and so when Bose came out with their line, I'm like, oh, man, I'm all over this. And I, you know, reached out to them and finally got in touch with their PR people. I had a meeting scheduled. They, they're they only maybe an hour south of me here. They're, you know, just outside of Boston. And <laughs> the day before I was supposed to go to this meeting, they emailed me and canceled. And they even told me the reason that they were canceling. They're like, oh, we realize that you cover Sonos in your podcast, so we're not going to be able That's to meet ridiculous. with you. And it was like, yeah. but it wasn't, I don't think it was the competition of like the fact that I had mentioned Sonos before. It was that they realized I was well versed in how Sonos worked and how well it worked. And they knew that if they showed me this, I would see shortcomings. So of course I, I went out and I just got one of these speakers. I didn't have to go see them to get one. And it was like, yeah. oh, this thing's a disaster. I mean, it was terrible. It, it just seemed odd to me that that, you know, a company would have that much hubris to use your term, but it is an accurate term to say, well, instead of making it better, we'll just only let people talk about it who have never experienced anything that is better. And it's such a weird way to proceed. Like, it was just so bizarre. You know, and I had a lot of people including other journalists that were like, oh my gosh, this, you know, this pose, whatever, the sound source or sound, whatever is amazing. I'm like, like, yeah, I, yeah. Okay. Like compared to nothing, I totally agree. Have you compared it to Sonos? No, I, I, I never really got into that. I don't really know that. Well, yeah. uh, okay, cool. Great. Sounds good. But yeah. Great stories. I, I yeah. love, uh, you know, and I've done that kind of thing many, many times in my life. And, and I focus on, you know, focusing on the Delta between what you can get it for and yeah. you know, how you can get it and all that stuff. It's, those are great entrepreneurial stories uh, that, you know, I, I love to hear. So thanks for sharing those with us today.